construction of flow graph is the topic in this particular session. Now, in case of flow graph, actually we will be showing that how the controls are getting transferred from one basic block to another basic block. And we know that in our previous video, we have discussed how to determine the leaders and how to form the basic blocks. So, now in this session, we shall form the flow graphs and basic blocks through leaders. So, let us go for one example. So, this is a sample program segment given. So, that is a begin product is equal to 0, i is equal to 1. So, before the loop, we have initialized uh, these two variables and then do and begin. Do and begin and end. There is a block here. So, there is a block here. There is a block here this is a block here. So, now we are having do begin product is equal to product plus a i star b i where i is a subscript of the a and b arrays. i is equal to i plus 1 then i is getting increased. So, in this way the things will take shape while i is less than equal to 20. So, this particular loop will go on executing for 20 number of times because i is having the value 1 and this particular loop will execute till the value of i is becoming 20. So, 20 number of times this loop is getting executed and end. So, this is a very simple code. Okay. So, this is a sample program segment. So, now this is the respective 3 address code we have written. So, product is equal to 0. So, this particular line against that the 3 address statement and this is my i is equal to 1. I have written that one same and then this part we are having i uh, t1 is equal to 4 into y. Remember this one this machine in on which this 3 address code will be executing here we are considering that it is supporting 4 bytes per word it is supporting 4 bytes per word ok. So, now t1 is equal to 4 into i what is the initial value of i 1. So, what value uh, t1 is getting that is 4 address of a minus 4 let us suppose a is an array obviously let us suppose its starting address is 2000. So, 2000 minus 4, what will be the value? 1996. So, 1996 is getting assigned to T2. Just for an example, you just consider. And now, T2, T1, T1 is having value 4 and T2 is having value 1996. So, 1996 is the base address, 4 is the displacement. So, now what is the address you are getting? You are getting the address 2000 back again. So, content at from the location number 2000 is getting assigned to T3. Similarly, at this of B, let it be say 4000, 4000 minus 4, 3996. So, that will be assigned to T4 and then 3996 and 4 offset. So, again you are getting back your 4000. So, the content from the location number 4000 is getting assigned to T5. So, now we are just multiplying this T3 and T5 because they are to be multiplied then added. So, now they have got multiplied to T6 and plot is equal to plot plus T6 and then i is equal to i plus 1 if i less than equal to 20 go to step 3. So, in this way the 3 address code is executing. Okay. So, that is a sample code. Now, let us uh, go for the leader detection. So, leader statement the first statement is a leader. So, this is a leader this statement is a leader statement. Next one any statement which is a target statement of a conditional or unconditional go to is a leader. Any statement which is the immediately follows the conditional go to is a leader. So, three clauses are there. So, here you see go to step 3. So, st uh, statement number 3 should be a leader because it is a target statement of a conditional go to because only condition is this one and this is a conditional go to. So, that is a leader. So, what is the basic block from one leader statement to the just prior statement of the next leader will be a basic block. If such leaders are absent, then up to the last statement, we shall consider one basic block. So, this is the leader statement, this is a leader statement. So, I shall be forming this one as a basic block. And then from this leader statement to the last statement, because there is no other statement is a leader, will be another basic block. You see, if there is any statement after this, that will be another leader because it is written in the um, calculations that in the in the norms that the statement which will be just after 
the conditional go to will be another leader so if the statement number 12 is there three at the score to, uh, is there at the, uh, uh, that is a statement number 12 and then that will be also a leader so we have divided this one into two basic blocks say block number one and say block number two so let me erase and write the code in a systematic way now we have drawn this particular flow graph you see whatever we planned that two statements will be in the first block and rest nine statements will be in the in our second block so similarly i have drawn so two statements in the block b1 and rest nine statements they are in block b2 so in this way the flow graph has been constructed to block beginning with the statement following statement number 11 so this control will be going to that particular block so this is the end of our local optimization this topic will be continued okay please watch our next videos where we shall go for the loop optimization and obviously the, our data flow analysis but let me calculate that that how many number of statements are getting executed in this particular case i'm telling you so here we are having two statements and here we are having nine statements obviously 11 minus 2 is equal to 9 so 9 into 20 times it is getting executed so 182 number of statements are getting executed here so if you go for the loop optimization this is a loop this is a loop so if you go for the loop optimization this particular code is, is going to get minimized so uh, we will be continuing for this loop optimization in our next sessions thanks for watching this video